Hi guys, today we are going to discuss about a famous case law of common intention that is Mahbub Shah versus Emperor. In this case, there was a man named Aladad and his friend Hamidullah went on a boat to the river Indus so that they would be able to collect reeds from the bank of the river Indus. Reed is a type of tall grass which is grown in the river bed. Mahbub Shah told Aladad to not collect the reeds since the land belonged to him. Aladad kept on collecting the reed even after Mahbub Shah told him not to collect the reeds and Kashim Shah asked them to return those 16 bundles of reeds which they collected. They as in Hamidullah and Aladad. Kashim Shah pushed Aladad when he refused to return the reeds and Aladad struck Kashim Shah with a bamboo in retaliation. When Kashim Shah shouted for help, Wali Shah along with his son Mahbub Shah came with his loaded guns. Wali Shah fired at Aladad and Mahbub Shah fired at Hamidullah. Aladad died immediately and Hamidullah was injured. Wali Shah absconded but Mahbub Shah and Kashim Shah were charged for the murder of Aladad. The session court convicted Mahbub Shah with uh, death sentence under section 302, read with section 34 of the Indian Penal Code. Kashim Shah was sentenced to 5 years imprisonment under section 307, read with section 34 of the Indian Penal Code. The matter went on appeal to the Lahore High Court, which acquitted Kashim Shah on the ground that he had no common intention to kill. But the court confirmed that the conviction of Mahbub Shah under section 302 read with section 34 of the Indian Peel Code uh, on the ground that the common intention came into being when Mahbub Shah opened fire along with Wali Shah towards the same direction. Mahbub Shah preferred an appeal before the Privy Council. The Privy Council set aside the decision which was made by the Lahore High Court. These were the following reasons. 1. To invoke Section 34 of the Indian Penal Code, it must be noted that the criminal act is done in furtherance of the common intention of all. It must be proved that the act is done after prior meetings and the criminal act is according to the pre-plan. Second, there was no evidence direct or circumstantial that Mahbub Shah was acting in concert with Wali Shah in pursuance of a concerted plan. Third, there was no evidence that the appellant and Wali Shah entered into a premediated concert to do the murder of Aladad. Fourth, the inference of Common intention under section 34 of IPC should never be reached unless it is a necessary inference is drawn from the uh, facts and circumstances of the case. Similar intention should not be confused with common intention. Thank you for watching and please like, share and subscribe to the channel.